This is what silence does to the narcissist. Narcissists cannot communicate effectively. You will experience confusion any time that you try to communicate with them. They are full of lies and contradictions. Nothing they say ever really adds up. They are deceptive. They intend to mislead you. And sometimes they will just ghost you. They will suddenly end your relationship without any explanation. And they will withdraw from all communication. They will give you the silent treatment. They won't give you any information about why they are discarding you. And they feel no concern about it. They are self-absorbed and lack empathy. They only care about themselves. But what happens when you give them the silent treatment? What happens when you stop talking to them? When you give them the silent treatment, they will lose their minds. They can give you the silent treatment for days and think nothing of it. They just expect you to wait for them to get back to you. But when you do it, they can't deal with it. They will call you endlessly and send you lots of messages. As soon as you go silent, they can sense it. They know that something has changed. They will rant and rave. They will get very angry. Or they will try to love bomb you. They will be consumed by this. It will fill their minds continually and to a troubling extent where they feel like they're losing control. They feel like their pet is escaping. So now they have to do whatever it takes to regain control over the situation. Because they can sense that you are going cold. They can sense that you are slipping away from them. And they have a strong fear of abandonment. They're deeply afraid of people leaving them. So when you go silent, they might try to love bomb you if they think that will get you back. But otherwise they will lose their minds. They will make demands. They will want to know where you are. Because they can sense that you are slipping away. They can sense that they are losing control of you. In some situations, they may, may even apologize to you. 
if they think that there is no other way to get you to return. But they don't feel any regret or guilt for what they did. They lack empathy. They're just saying it to get you to return to them. And if you do return to them, nothing is going to change. If you go silent on the narcissist, they will try to replace you. They will try to find someone else because they need constant supply. And if you're not going to attend to them, they will try to get attention somewhere else. They will try to replace you. When you go silent on the narcissist, it often causes a narcissistic injury, which will then be followed by narcissistic rage, where they will become very angry towards you or they will give you the silent treatment. And while they're doing that, they're looking for someone to replace you. They will then triangulate you with that person. They will use them to get revenge on you, which is another way for them to get supply from you. If they can use another person to hurt you, it tells them that you still care. It tells them that they must be worth something after all. But even if you didn't go silent on them, eventually they would have found someone else. They always need new supply. They always need someone to prop up their false self. They always need someone to validate the illusion. Silence will often cause the narcissist to play the victim. They will act like you have abandoned them, as though you have left them without help or support. And then they will go around your family or friends to play the victim, to act like what you're doing isn't right. They're not going to tell anyone what they did to you. They will only mention your reaction to the abuse. This helps them to get supply from other people while you're silent. Narcissists are easily offended. So if you go silent, they will see it as an attack. They will see it as though you are trying to hurt them or make their life inconvenient. And they will smear your name to anyone who will listen. But you shouldn't worry about what those people think of you. They're only getting one side of the story. And if they believe what the narcissist is saying about you, it's probably because they don't know you very well. You need to cut off anyone who doesn't believe your side of the story. They're not going to be any good for you. They're only going to cause problems for you. They're only going to set you back. When you go silent and you've taken some time to focus on yourself, 
you've taken some time to heal. They will find a way to pop up in your life again. They will hoover you. Even if they're in another relationship. Even if they're married. Because they need attention. They need supply. And if they don't pop up in your life again, they will get someone else to do it. Narcissists always have an army of people ready to take their side. Ready to bombard you. They will send their flying monkeys after you. They will get them to make your life difficult and inconvenient. They will be gossiping about you. They will do whatever it takes to make you feel bad about yourself. But you shouldn't place any value or importance on what these people say to you. They're just as toxic as a narcissist. And they're just looking for someone to dump their emotional baggage onto. They're just other people with serious emotional problems. Narcissists are very weak people. Which is why they need all of these flying monkeys. They think that by having a group of people, it makes them more powerful. But all they've really got is more idiots, more people of low intelligence. These people are really sad and pathetic, but they are not worthy of your time and attention. Continue behaving in a moral way, even though they may not be behaving morally. Don't let them change you. Don't let them reduce you to their standard of behavior. Keep it moving and forget about them. They're not doing you any favors. They're not helping you in any way. They have no useful purpose in your life. So forget the narcissist and their fly monkeys and just focus on your own life. Focus on what you need to do. Leave them to waste their own lives. Don't try to prevent them from observing you. Let them be there. Be the observed. Be the one that they are all watching. And just let them anticipate what you are going to do next. Be the one that they're all focused on. Be the one that they're all talking about. But focus on yourself. Focus on your own life. Exist in your own frame. And then there will be nothing they can do to affect you. They will be forced to watch your life while you move on and forget about them. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.